it's my pleasure to be talking to you today about the ARDC Nectar Research Cloud and how it's accelerating research. I want to start also by acknowledging, uh, for me, the Wurundjeri and Bunurong people who are the traditional owners of the land on which I'm currently working um, and extending my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. And I'd also like to extend a warm welcome to everyone joining us today uh, in, and the Aboriginal elders and traditional owners of the lands and communities that are joining us. Uh, I also really appreciate this opportunity for us to all connect and share this information with one another. Uh, so what is the ARDC? Uh, well, Australian Research Data Commons' purpose is to provide Australian researchers with a competitive advantage through data. Together, we're accelerating research and innovation by driving excellence in the creation, analysis, and retention of high-quality data assets. The ARDC has over 100 staff based at host institutions around Australia and 21 member institutions. Uh, some of those logos you might be very familiar with. Uh, and the ARDC was established under and is supported by the Australian government's National Collaborative Research Infrastructure Strategy, or as we like to call it, NCRIS for short. Um, you can see some other NCRIS capabilities and supporting capabilities you might also be familiar with on this slide, uh, all of these providing national research infrastructure for Australian researchers and supporting our researchers. Now, as a national research infrastructure, the ARDC is creating research environments that accelerate the translation of research into real benefits for society. Our ser services are developed for researchers and delivered through infrastructure providers. In this presentation, I'll be focusing on the ARDC Nectar Research Cloud, uh, but I highlight some of the other services we provide here and encourage you to explore those as well. The ARDC Nectar Research Cloud is a freely available national research cloud for eligible Australian and New Zealand researchers uh, and research infrastructure providers. Nectar provides researchers with fast, interactive self-service access to large-scale computing infrastructure, software, and data, and it is a powerful platform for collaboration. We're proud of the fact that Nectar was the first national research cloud, and it has been operational for more than a decade, established in January 2012. How old does that make you feel? <laughs> it certainly makes me feel quite old. Um, <laughs> So Nectar is a federated cloud service with seven partner nodes currently in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Hobart, and Auckland. Uh, there are more nodes on the very near horizon. Uh, so stay tuned for news coming out soon. We also have strong international connections as members of the Open Infra Foundation. Nectar's versatile cloud infrastructure can be used in many different ways to support research, such as virtual desktop for a single researcher or a powerful computer, computational server that can be shared by researchers in Australia and internationally. Now, let's take a look at the numbers. Uh, we've got some very impressive numbers here. Nectar has enabled more than 24,500 researchers to work on over 5,000 groundbreaking research projects since 2012. Nectar hosts many research platforms and services that collectively have more than 50,000 users annually. So we've got, we're boasting some great numbers there. As well as providing the ARDC Nectar Research Cloud for researchers to use comp compute and storage, uh, we also run a number of services which are powered by Nectar, including the virtual desktop service, which gives researchers an extra personal computer in the cloud, uh, Jupyter Notebook service, where you can develop, combine, and export computational notebooks, such as using Python or R. The Binder Hub service is for binder environments that can easily be shared with collaborators. Uh, Kubernetes services, 
and also the national GPU service where you can easily reserve GPUs and large memory virtual machines for demanding research activities like machine learning and image processing. Uh, some of the main benefits of Nectar include that it's very cost effective. It's open source, customizable and designed for research needs, uh, giving, the research, re giving researchers the computing power that they need. Nectar is seamlessly interoperable with digital research infrastructure, and it enables easier research collaboration across institutions. So you can share a cloud computer with your collaborators. Nectar is also very well supported with an excellent team and resources online, which I'll come back to in a minute. Uh, I'd like to share a user story. So this is Professor James McCaw, who needed computing resources. And the launch of Nectar in 2012 came at just the right time. Uh, James's research group started using Nectar within months of its launch and has continued to use Nectar for important projects such as modeling infectious diseases. James is quoted as saying, Nectar completely changed my ability to develop my career because the system was merit, not dollar-based. A lot of my work is absolutely contingent on this resource or equivalent resources continuing to exist. That it has been so stable and reliable over the last decade has been very important. So how can you use Nectar? Uh, well, you can access the Nectar dashboard and log in using Australian Access Federation or AAF credentials uh, in Australia or to a Curie in New Zealand. Uh, your Nectar account is automatically set up. And on your first login, everyone gets allocated a free project trial, which gives you access to up to two virtual CPUs that expire in six months. Uh, this will give you the opportunity to try it out, and we encourage you to access the online support resources and tutorials. After testing it, you can submit a form on the dashboard to request an allocation of resources for your research project. Uh, allocation requests are approved by a Nectar allocation committee member. And then you can use the cloud to host cool resource research services and do your amazing research. As I've mentioned, we have comprehensive support available, uh, including in our support center, including answers to common questions and detailed support articles in a searchable knowledge base. Nectar also offers many tutorials on how to use the platform, which are self-paced. We have free live training workshops and live chat support that is available from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, or you can also lodge a help desk ticket. Now, I've actually prepared some information that you can use to share with your researchers um, and researchers in your community. So you can copy and paste this text. Um, and I encourage you to share this on relevant websites such as LibGuides or mailing lists and newsletters. I've also included an HTML copy of the text. Um, if you do decide to share this, uh, I also ask that you please complete out the short survey included so that we know where this information is being shared. I'll give you a quick preview of what that looks like. Uh, so on this page here, there's some information that you can copy and paste onto a website, blog post, newsletter, whatever you wish. And as I mentioned, there's some HTML text there as well that you can share. Now, I've got some exciting news. <laughs> you are invited to International Data Week in 2025 next year. So changing topics slightly, um, this is a global event and I think of it as the Olympics, but for data <laughs> because it only happens every few years and we're very proud to be hosting it in Brisbane, Australia. Um, so I encourage you to come along. Uh, the event will bring together researchers, data professionals, policymakers, and more to celebrate and advance the role of data in science and society. 
I'll share that link as well in the chat. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. Uh, you can connect with, uh, with us by visiting us online. Uh, I also encourage you to subscribe to our newsletter to keep up to date with the latest digital research news, events, resources, and career opportunities. You can also connect with us on social media, email us, and seek our advice on national digital research and data questions.